This is the weirdest Super Duty on the planet, and I'm gonna tell you why. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and today we've got our hands on the all new 2023 Ford Super Duty. And this one is a very, very unique piece. And we're gonna cover that here in just a second. And by the way, I'm gonna have some cards linked down below. So if you wanna skip around from location to location as far as the video is concerned, that's perfect. If you're wanting details on exactly how you should and should not order the Super Duty, I've got a couple of different links down for you if you wanna check out those videos. But first off, let's go ahead and dive into the overall outside appearance. The first thing you'll notice is that the hood, the grill, and the bumper are all different for 2020 model year. A couple of different reasons. This is what Ford calls their mid-cycle refresh. It doesn't mean that the frame is new from the ground up. Basically what they did is they refreshed the hood, refreshed the grill, they refreshed the bumpers for a couple of different things. Take a look at this honeycomb looking grill. This thing is absolutely massive. It's got a ton of airflow up front as well. And so that's going to allow for a lot of different things. This one happens to have the gas burning engine, but it also will allow for that high output engine for the 6.7 diesel that I'm gonna cover later on in this video. We'll cover exactly why this is the weirdest Super Duty here in just a second, but take a look at the wheels and tires. This is the sport appearance package on this particular Super Duty. So you're gonna get a set of Bridgestone Dueler AT tires. This is more of a street type of a tire. And as you can see, it's got the grayed out wheel. I'm not a big fan of the look of this tire. It's a little small for my taste. I've never had any experience with the performance of it. Uh, so it might be a fantastic tire, but the wheels are absolutely gorgeous. And I don't say that very often about a factory set of Ford wheels, but because this thing is the sport appearance package, you get this beautiful looking wheel. Ford hit a home run on this particular wheel. The next thing that I wanna talk about is going to be this massive badge in the fender. So one of the biggest updates for the Super Duty on this model year is a badge that runs literally the length of the door. And on pictures and in videos, it's massive, but it is not as bad in person, especially when you've got it blacked out kind of like this one is because of, yet again, that sport appearance package. The other thing I wanna talk about, and this is, uh, man, it's, it's causing a lot of drama in the comment section, and that is going to be this step. It's got a lot of use to it. The only problem is, is you can't really get rid of it. And it is kind of high up. I mean, I'm six foot three, so my knees having to go up pretty high. You know, someone that's vertically challenged might have some serious issue with using this step. I mean, you can see how high up uh, that, that step is, but my concern with it is it almost looks like it should fold up out of the way. It, it kind of looks like it should, but it actually doesn't. But it's got a lot of utilitarian use in it. It just it changes the look of the outside of that vehicle. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of that step. On the back side of the vehicle, you do have an updated tailgate. And as you can see, this Lariat has got a remote release tailgate in the back. But you'll notice this one is not opted for the tailgate step in the bed of the vehicle, which is interesting because you may or may not need it anymore. There's this really cool step that's built into the bumper of the rear of the truck. Very similar to the one on the bedside we just talked about. It does kind of stick up and out of the way and it also looks like a competitor step as well. Can't believe I just said that out loud, <laughs> but it does have some decent functionality of getting in and out of the truck. Now there's also this really neat little handle location to put your foot right here and pull yourself straight into the bed of the truck, making that tailgate step nearly useless. The reason this is the weirdest truck you're going to see is as far as the Super Duty is because of this right here. It's very rare to see a Super Cab Super Duty. It's not so rare to see it on an XL work truck, that kind of a thing, because you, you don't really care about the creature comforts of the people behind you. But the way most people order these high-end lariats and things like that are gonna be with the Super Crew, the four full doors. This customer specifically wanted the Super Cab. And what I, I think I like about this is you still get the same number of seats in the vehicle but you're not having to deal with this much space inside of this vehicle, which we're gonna dive deep into the inside because that's where a lot of changes have happened on this new Super Duty, but it opens up just like this. Now, years ago, Ford realized that if I'm in a parking spot and I'm trying to get you know, my groceries into the back seat that you can't really get because there's another car right here. So what Ford did is they gave you the ability to open it up nearly 180 degrees. So now you can get the things out of the grocery cart and into the cab of the vehicle. I think it's very, very neat that they have it set up this way. And you still have your seat belts mounted into the pillar as well. Now that we're on the inside of this new Super Duty, I wanna show you the ins and outs of exactly what it looks like. But as I mentioned to you, this thing just rolled off the truck, so let's get this thing unboxed and unwrapped. 
Now that we're on the inside of the new Super Duty, I want to talk about leg room, especially since this is a super cab configuration. I'm six foot three and I've got this thing in the perfect driving situation for me. Notice how much leg room I have in this particular setup. But what I'm curious about is what happens if you've got two six foot three people that need to sit front to back? Let's take a look at that knee room. Okay. Oh, that was my knee. Okay. The leg room is non-existent. So if you're going to be stacking some big workers in the back seat of your vehicle, you might want to opt for that Super Crew. In my opinion, the interior is the single biggest improvement on this new body style for the Super Duty. And not just in the technology, and they really did step it up in technology, but also in the creature comforts on the inside. So take a look at this. My biggest complaint for the Super Duty for the longest time is not having a cell phone holder. Now look what I got. I got me a cell phone holder. It's the perfect size for a big iPhone, but if that's not enough, you can slide this panel open and there is a wireless phone charger down in here as well. And for the very first time, that wireless charger allows you to house your phone vertically instead of horizontally. My wife's Expedition, my F-150 Lightning, uh, even my Bronco has all got a horizontal wireless phone charger. It's really nice to see that it's vertical this time. You've also got your power outlet plugs in here if that's something you need. And you also happen to have your cup holder. But there's a really cool part about this cup holder. It's got a party trick to it. You slide it over and you automatically double the number of cup holders you have located up front. But there's also another cool piece about this. If you lift this rubber out of the center console, you'll notice this location right here. What is that location, you might ask yourself? It's a very cool thing, that even if this battery in this key fob is completely dead and you can't get the truck to start because the key fob doesn't have a battery, you set the key fob right there and it sends a wave, a transmitter straight through that key. It knows the key belongs to this truck and it'll allow you to crank up your truck even with no battery in the key fob. The infotainment system is a big improvement as well. You've got this massive Sync 4 system. It's a 12 inch touchscreen and you've got your picture in a picture, very similar to what we've had in previous generation of Ford products, but I absolutely love it. The other thing that I love is that they did not get rid of all of the buttons. People that work in their super duties will sometimes have gloves on. Ford knows that, so they left the physical buttons down here as well for your heated seats, your air conditioned seats, your air conditioner, your volume, a lot of different physical buttons are still located in the Super Duty for that specific reason. But there's a brand new digital version and that is going to be in this instrument cluster. This is the massive instrument cluster that is completely LCD. It is a complete screen and it looks amazing. You've got full functionality of the vehicle. Inside of here, you can see your fuel, you can see your gauges, you can see the off-road mode. Everything is clearly displayed right here in this setup. I've got a very similar instrument cluster in my F-150 Lightning and I absolutely love it. It is so nice. And then you've also got your ergonomics in the steering wheel as well. So you've got all of your buttons that you primarily need, like you're changing your radio station, changing the volume, voice activation, all that kind of stuff is located right here on the steering wheel. The one thing you'll also know, your transmission shifter is still located on the column. You still cannot get a Super Duty with a center console shifter. It's an interesting thought. I'm not sure why Ford does that or doesn't give you that opportunity, but some people like having it up here. Some people like having the center console shifter. Let me know down in the comments below which one you like better. For the engines, there's a couple of different offerings available in this new body style of the Super Duty. The first thing I want to tell you about is the engine that's in this specific truck. This is the 7.3 liter gas version. They call this the Godzilla motor. <laughs> it's an apt name. This thing has got a ton of torque for a gas engine. Now, if this is too much for you in a lower trim level truck, you can actually pick up a brand new 6.8 liter gas engine. But if you need a diesel, there's two options of available to you. A 6.7 diesel power stroke engine and they also have the high output version in those upper trim levels. And as you can see, we've got all of the horsepower and torque ratings right there for you. Now there's a couple of notable features of the brand new Super Duty that you need to be aware of. Some best in classes, if you will. So for instance, the 6.7 liter diesel has the best a maximum horsepower available at 500 horsepower in its class. And the 6.7 has the maximum of 
available torque at 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Now, this 7.3 gas engine that we're looking at on this particular truck has a best maximum available 30,000 pound conventional towing for a gas vehicle. That is insane. And also, you've got a best-in-class maximum available fifth wheel towing of 35,000 pounds. But here is what is really crazy. The F450 can tow up to 40,000 pounds. And that is our look at the all new Super Duty. If you haven't already done so, you need to watch our video that shows you exactly how you should and should not order the all new Super Duty. Click right here to watch that video.